Hello guys, welcome to another episode of Let's Chat. I'm Mr. Sagba, a lifestyle vlogger from Lagos, Nigeria. And today we're going to be talking about Valentine's Day. Guys, I love romance. <laughs> I love romance, in fact, too much. And I just feel like you know for someone who loves romance a lot why not why not do a video about valentine's day so today i'm going to be giving advice to two categories of people the singles like me hey i'm currently single <laughs> and those in a committed relationship and when i say committed relationship i mean marriage Hardship or a dating relationship and what other committed relationships do we have? Mm, well, basically those three for now and I'm gonna start with the singles Dear yes, singles Single Pringles I'm not mocking you because hey, I'm one of you guys But dear singles this Valentine's season, you know I know you guys are going to be seeing a lot of couples, you know, romancing and, you know, showing their, publicly displaying their affection and just doing amazing things and looking happy and so much in love. And you're probably like, ah, oh, ah, oh God, am I a stepchild? You've probably been praying for a spouse, you've been praying for a partner and God is like, oh girl. <laughs> Oh boy, it ain't your time yet. So, if you're in this category, see, I don't want you to question your worth for a second. I don't want you to feel less than you are. Neither do I want you to settle for less. Like, that should be far from you this season. You are a queen. You are a king. You're beautiful. You're amazing. You're special. And you deserve someone who sees you that way. Now, don't go jumping into the hands of the next person that's showing you attention because you want to feel loved or you want to celebrate Valentine's Day. Please, don't play yourself this season. Hey, I'm not saying you should turn down everyone who's showing you attention, but with wisdom, you know, say yes to the people who show potential and people who you would love to be in a relationship with. Not just, you know, say yes to anybody just because it's Valentine's Day. Hey, nope, don't do that. And also, guys and ladies, hmm, do not take on witchcraft behavior this season. Yeah. You want to know what witchcraft behavior is? Harboring jealousy and hate in your heart because you know you're single and everyone seems to be in love and then you're hating on your friends or your family members who are so in love and are publicly displaying it. What, what, please, what does that do for you? Like really? You know, don't do that this season. If it really affects you, stay off social media. If it doesn't, scroll, laugh. In fact, say God when. It doesn't hurt anybody. Say God when as much as you need. And guys, you can even be taking notes. Like when you see someone do something for their spouse and you're like, wow, I really love this. You know, take, the, take notes. You know, when God finally answers your prayer, do the same thing for your own spouse or tell your spouse to do the same thing for you. Life is not hard, people. Stop complicating things. So be happy for people, celebrate love, celebrate people who are in love and live vicariously through people. And you know what? Take notes. All right, now let's move on to those in a committed relationship. Let me start with those who are married. Now, some of you brought down heaven to please your spouse when you were dating. Some of you, you know, did flamboyant romantic gestures and now those things have now become a thing of the past because sea finish has entered you now take your spouse for granted some of you will even be giving silly excuses like ah, 
and why do we need a special day to celebrate love can't we celebrate love every day fine we can celebrate love every day but what stops you from also celebrating it on valentine's day if you've been buying flour for your wife every week this time do something in in addition to the flour if you've been buying boxers shorts for your husband every week do something in addition to buying the boxer shorts like life is so short guys so go out of your way to do things that make you happy to keep the butterflies and the romance alive in your marriage don't see your spouse finish so if you're in the category of people who have been giving those excuses in the past it's time to change henceforth starting from today start to make plans for your spouse on valentine's day you know i know money is hard to come by these days but there's so many things you can do that doesn't involve a lot of money don't worry i'll be giving you guys some examples you know towards the end of this video so stay tuned and um let's take a little break guys if you enjoy my content and you don't like comment and subscribe to my channel why why please subscribe thank you okay now we're still in the category of those who are in a committed relationship and i know i've been saying this you know to my friends but i'm saying this on here to you my viewers as well ladies normalize doing things for the man in your life men did not come to this world to suffer they did not just come to this world to please you they are human they have blood running through their veins you can take the initiative and also plan something for valentine's day don't get him the same boring gifts boxer shorts card you know do something romantic you know find out what his love language is or what you know his desires are for valentine's day and go ahead and do it don't always wait for him to plan something or to do something like also do something for him hey we are in the 21st century let's leave all you know those attitudes of hey i came to this world to for men to please me let's leave that in the past huh let's leave it what in the past and then i always say this know your love language and know the love language of your spouse some people want physical touch this season and for some people they want quality time and for some it might be gifts so know what your spouse wants and plan around it all right guys so for those in a committed relationship what did i say avoid see finish this season don't take your spouse for granted ladies it doesn't hurt to do things for the men in your life they are also human and lastly know their love language and plan your events around that and guys i know money is scarce this season so there's so many things you can do on a budget you know you can make a jar or use any jar you have in your home and take you know paper or post-it notes and write all the wonderful things about your spouse and put it in a jar you can also write some of the memories that you cherish with them and put it in a jar and let them pick one each day for like seven days before valentine and other things you can do you can make breakfast in bed you can serenade them you can put together a video or a picture slide you know of all the beautiful memories you've shared about the things you love about them you know so many things like that and see you know i also want to tell you guys not to do the bare minimum nah don't do that to the person that you love be thoughtful when planning something this season even if you're taking her out to dinner like open the door close the door after her um pick out an outfit with her 
um, let her know how beautiful she's looking you know or even buy her an outfit and put a note on the bed saying um, get ready at seven and picking you up for dinner you know just put some thought and put some romance into what you're doing don't just do the barest minimum ah text babe we're having dinner at seven come on you know and at dinner you can play games couple games there's so many of them on Pinterest you can just google them and just you know bond during dinner instead of just looking at your phone please don't do that also this season put your phone down turn it upside down give the person your wit attention it's just one day you're not gonna die if you miss a phone call or a text message from work or whatever it is you're involved in so guys I hope I've been able to put some sense into some people and maybe give some people ideas for this season and you know what follow me on Instagram miss underscore asagba because I'll be providing so many tips and giving you guys so many recommendations this season because I care about you and I kind of like specialize in matters of the heart you know <laughs> okay I'm just kidding I didn't go to school for that but I love romance and I love to see people in love and people who are you know putting in the work to make sure that they keep their love alive so thank you guys for watching please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe ciao